y'all, it's holiday time, so let's make this five-minute cheesecake. Let's get into it. First thing first, how are you guys doing? And here are the ingredients. We're going to use a Jello no bake Classic Cheesecake mixture. On the back, it tells you what you need, which is two teaspoons of sugar, butter, and one and one half cup of milk. We're not going to use the sugar in the butter. You'll find out why in a minute. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our contents. So I can show you what is exactly in this box. Now, as you can see, I'm struggling trying to open up this box. It won't let me be great, so we're just gonna go ahead and try the box open. <laughs> okay, y'all, so this is the cheesecake filling. That's what you see in my hand. So we got some graham cracker crumbs. And we have the cheesecake filling. Now we're going to keep it simple, okay? Alright, so we're going to use the already made graham cracker crust. And it's actually the Walmart brand, but I like to get the Keebler. But of course, they was out of it, so I had to get that one. So we're going to go ahead and mix up our filling. So we're going to go ahead and pour the contents of the filling into the bowl. Make sure you get all that, child. Make sure you get all that, get all that filling in that bowl. And then you're just going to add your milk again, one and one half cup of milk. Now you can pour it all in at one time, or you can pour half of it, mix it, and then pour the rest in while you mix it. Either way is your choice. But for time, we're just going to go ahead and pour it in. Then we're going to use some cream cheese. I'm actually using the Great Value brand to each its own. You can use whichever you choose. It all does the same. Um, but we're going to use the Great Value today. Now, this is my first time actually using the cream cheese in my cheesecake, but I wanted to give it a, just a little bit stiffness, a little bit more thickness, so I was, this was suggested to me, so I said I would try it. And I'm only going to use a little bit of the cream cheese because I don't want it too thick. I don't like that really thick um, cheesecake, but I'm putting just enough so that it will sit exactly how I want it to sit. So I put about two spoonfuls of that in there not a whole lot just like a tip of the spoon so now we're going to go ahead and mix it up with our beater or your mixer whichever one you may have you're going to start off with a high speed and then you're going to condense down to a low speed and as you're mixing you will begin to see your content get thicker make sure that you mix it well so you can mix up all of your content your filling and your cream cheese Take your time, no big rush, but it doesn't take you long at all. Now we're gonna use some Kool-Aid. That is lemon Kool-Aid, and you're only gonna need a little of that Kool-Aid. Um, it is put into my cheesecake to add lemon flavor. To each its own, you can use lemon juice if you want to. I choose to use Kool-Aid, and don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> all right, so now that our filling is stirred and beat and ready, we're gonna go ahead and put it in this graham cracker crust already made. So we're just gonna pour our filling into the, the pan, the crust pan. And then we're gonna take our spoon. Y'all like to use wooden spoons. I don't know why, I just love my little wooden spoon. And we're gonna spread our cream cheese all over the pan, all the way out to the end or however you choose. Just spread it all out. Spread it out, spread, spread, spread. And once you have gotten it spread to your liking, then you can start spreading. All right, so this is the cheesecake. Oh, we look so good, y'all. It looks so, so, so good. But now that we're done mixing our cheesecake and we got it in our pan, we're gonna go ahead and put our cheesecake in the freezer for about one to two hours and let it set. To each its own, you can leave it in there as long as you would like overnight. However, I'm gonna do one to two hours and we're gonna bring it back out and then we're going to add our toppings. Hey y'all, so I'm back. We're done fixing this cheesecakes. I've done both of them. As you can see, it's really simple. It ain't nothing hard to it. You ain't gotta be in no kitchen unless you just wanna be. Um, 
So I'm gonna, um, they're in the freezer. I'm gonna let them sit for about an hour and a half before I put the toppings on them basically. Um, and then I'll come back and show y'all the finishing results of what they look like. Hey y'all, welcome back. Let's get into adding the toppings to our cheesecake. First one we're doing is the strawberry cheesecake. You can use any filling that you would like. I am using the strawberry filling by Lucky where you can pick it up at any grocery store. I pick mine up at HEB. We just took that filling and we just spread it around the top of the cheesecake. Also put some whipped cream in the middle and then put some of that filling right on the top of that whipped cream. Kind of give it a little decoration. And that's it for our strawberry cheesecake. So as we get into the lemon cheesecake, we're just going to take some whipped cream and we're just going to spread it over the top of our cheesecake, over our lemon filling just a little bit. Then we're going to take some graham cracker crumbs and we're just going to sprinkle it over the whipped cream, kind of like a lemon meringue pie, but it's an actual cheesecake, you guys. Once you've done that, you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Come back and see me next time for more simple recipes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.